All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can rip Nintendo 64 models from the Project 64 emulator. Ripping models can be very hard to get working, so you're gonna need very specific versions of certain programs. Before we get started, you're gonna need Blender 2.79, which is an older version of Blender, Project 64 2.203, the Nemu Graphics plugin, and there's going to be a link to a Nintendo 64 mapping tool made by someone named Maltard, and the link to his download is going to be in the description below. Once you get all this set up, it's a very easy process to rip these N64 models. And unlike using 3D Ripper DX, it's not going to be very skewed. I'll cover that in a different tutorial. Another thing I want to mention is maybe download the Project 64 from the link below in case it has the included plugins already installed. So the first thing you're going to want to do is install your plugins. Navigate to where you installed your Project 64 and look for Plugin, Graphics, and then this is the location of all your plugins. Drag in your Rice Video plugin, which you downloaded in the description below, and your Nemu 64 plugin as well. And that's basically the installation of the plugins. Now you can boot up Project 64, as I did here. Go to Options, Settings, Plugins, and make sure your plugin is on Nemu64 Graphics, Combined Debug. Hit Apply, OK. And now my game that I'm going to be testing out these grouping models from is Donkey Kong 64. So I'm just going to play the game, and I'll get to a good place to cut. So by pressing F2 on your keyboard, you can pause the emulator. You can also go to System, and then Pause. When it's paused, go to Options. Go to Graphics Plugin, or Configure Graphics Plugin, and now you have this dialog here. This is the dialog specific to the plugins you installed. This is Lemmy's Video Debugger. Now what you want to do is tick Export VRML, hit OK, and now we're going to quickly, maybe give it a half second, tap F12 and then F12 again to pause, or to unpause and then pause again. So, done. Now go to Options, Graphics, untick Export VRML, now if you navigate to your main C drive on your computer, and there should be a folder called VRML, open that, and here are all of your textures. You won't have this folder here, you'll just have the textures, and at the very bottom, you'll have an output.wrl file. At this point, we're going to have the N64 mapping tool come into play. So booting up the N64 mapping tool made by Multard, we're going to open up the wrl file, we're going to convert it to an object file, and I'm just going to put it inside the exported. And now we want to go over here to copy use textures. So all the textures this object is using is going to go with that object file. So what object file? Let's select the one we just exported. And now select the folder where the textures currently are. So that's inside the VR, VRML file or folder. And now where do you want the textures to go? They're going to go with our object file. And I'll copy the textures. Done. So going into the where we exported our object, it now has all of these textures here and an object file that we're going to be opening inside Blender. So go ahead and open this object file in Blender. All right, and it's going to look something like this. You're going to have probably hundreds of files, maybe less, and you're going to have, you might see your model or you might not. In my case, it's very, very small. So I'm just going to press S on my keyboard to scale and scale it as big as I can. If you click on the materials down here, you can select texture to see all of the textures assigned. And this is the 3D model you extracted. Now, I should note that it's not 100% perfect. Certain models can't be properly ripped, basically. They're missing some textures because the textures are overlaying each other. You do have, however, the entirety of the 3D model that it consisted of. In most cases, you'll have complete success with this method. And basically, there you have it. You have now extracted your N64 model. In a later video, I'm going to be showing you how you can process this model to make it look better. And as you can see, there are many, many parts to it and a lot of messy texture. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. And I'll see you in the next one.